Hey, Corey, how you doing, man? Happy Sunday. Give me one minute here.
All right, guys, sorry about that. We're back. Uh, small phone call there with my friend. Um, had to take that. Um, what is up, Corey, Zoe, Rich, Noah, Jimmy, Eduardo, David, Miguel, anyone else in the stream, guys? Really good to see you guys. Sorry for being a little bit late, of course, with that phone call. Uh, the one thing I'll say is that we do not know yet the information on AKAs. We're going to know the AKAs really any minute. Uh, it's usually 1230 all the way to 2 o'clock. So we will, uh, I, I, I don't know why they do it in the afternoon for probably because it's Sunday and they don't want to do Sunday nights or whatever. Uh, but anyway, uh, long story short though, um, it is going to be a big week for Ultimate Team. What's up, Big Jaw? Um, it is going to be a big week for Ultimate Team. It's season 6 coming out. I'm already max level and all that stuff. Even if you're not max level, don't really feel bad about it. I mean, three days it comes out. So... Uh, Derek Henry was the master for this past season. Not really that good of a master. Um, you're going to see right here, we're going to get max level easily for the comp pass. As long as you do your daily goals, I'm not even playing one Mutt Champ game. Uh, I'm not going to even play soul battles at all. All you got to do is your daily goals. They give you 24 per day. I already told you guys about this a long time ago, but you know, daily goals is the most important part because you get 24 for just doing your daily goals. Milestones should be maxed out by now if you've been... Pl I mean, this comp pass lasted now. It's been over 40 days already. So it's been seven weeks. I mean, it's hard to believe, but it has been. So time flies all the way back. Uh, I mean, I, I, mean, I want to say it's been seven weeks because the season's been out for sure for that long. Uh, I don't even know how long, I mean, how long was season five? I mean, it looks like we're in week seven of the objectives. So it's been about, yeah, seven weeks-ish. So, I mean, it's, it, you know, time flies. Um, you think Bo's better than Vic? I don't really agree with that. I think Michael Vic is better because he has more X Factor chances. Um, Master Technician is really good for Bo Jackson. But it's an a you know it's an X factor, not an ability. So, I mean, I like master technician or tactician, uh, because it's literally everything you want for one AP. Hot route master and playmaker and conductor is underrated. Uh, pass lead for two is because Michael Vick he can be on the run, and pass lead versus Sefi is a big deal. Um, Gunslinger for zero is not really a necessity. I would even say Fearless is honestly worth it. The only problem, though, is he doesn't really miss that many throws. He might miss one here and there, but it's not like it's an issue. So unless it becomes an issue, I'm not, I mean, I will always do Slinger for free over the Fearless. And then I am going back to Truz. If we get more user strips, I'm really done. I'll give it one more try. Last thing I'm going to say here is Heinz Ward. Oh, what's up, Rainmaker? Um, by the way, we are going to try to stream later tonight. There's no guarantees. That's why I'm doing like a one-hour, two-hour stream right now. Uh, Polo Malu is all the way up to 800K, which is weird. He was as low as 700 earlier uh, yesterday and Friday. But um, Heinz Ward, I hope he's up to like 650. He was 610 yesterday. He is 660. I am selling this puppy after this stream. So we bought him for 515. I'm going to sell him for 660, 670. I literally made 100K coins. So even if it's 90K, 90K is a good profit. So uh, Heinz Ward, he was so cheap. Uh, they're going to maybe, I mean, who knows? They could drop an AKA receiver tomorrow. Uh, they could drop, uh, you know, NFL draft, right? There's, I mean, you better believe there's going to be a Marvin Harrison coming out 99 overall, right? Um, as long as he's a top five overall pick. I, well, I think it's, I mean, I would hope he's 99 overall, all right? Um, so all I'm going to say is NFL draft promo is on Thursday. Get ready for it. Um, what's up, Wooby Bear? Um, it should be any minute, dude. Any minute on Twitter. So if that makes sense. JJ Watt, I don't mind him for one AP edge right away. He's up to 830, right? 
So uh, for some reason, now they're going back up in price. Oh, it's probably because the Ring of Honor packs are, are it's probably because the Ring of Honor packs are, are, are out of the store. That's kind of what it has to be. So. Yeah, true, Corey. Good job. Yeah. I'm going to check right now the store. Let me see if the store got rid of the packs. Did they get rid of the stuff in the store? So, I mean, obviously, we get a daily pack right here. 86 plus Genki player. It's hard to believe Genki was back in late February. Jeez. All right. Maybe it was March. I mean, I forget, dude. All right. So it looks like there, I mean, there's still the step offers, but that's points. Are, ooh, it looks like the Ring of Honor packs are still in the store. Okay. So they didn't, I just realized a Ring of, a Ring of Honor pack is 100,000 coins. So, if there is Twitch open directory, they are giving away a free Ring of Honor pack if you watch Twitch for three hours. I mean, it has to be three hours, but I mean, I don't know if I'll do it. I mean, I have my iPad. I just put the iPad on and, you know, but eh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, so might as well, it, it you know, it was yesterday and today. I probably should have did it. Whatever. It's fine. I'll probably do it this afternoon. I'll just have my iPad iPad on for three hours, come back, you know, whatever, right? Um, what's up, Chris? So again, I'm gonna sell Heinz Ward because wide receivers are so abundant. Carmichael, he was as low as 530 because of Devin Hester dropping, and people were he's 700 k folks. He's up 170k. Just, I mean, that right there, that's profit. I could sell him and literally get a hundred K profit again on Heinz Ward and him. So, see how we're just flipping cards, LTDs. Um, that is a stock that is one of the best coin making methods in the game. Um, you know, and why receivers are so replaceable. So, <clears throat> Now, St. Brown, he's going to drop more tomorrow because of AKA Day. Um, but he's going for 450. I'm not going to sell him. I think he's already cheap enough. He might drop to 350, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to sell him, rebuy him, make 20K, 20, and just keep him. Uh, Evan Brown, I'm going to sell him before Wildcard Wednesday for sure because every Wildcard Wednesday, he'll drop more. Uh, I bought him for 420. Even if I sell him for 510. We still make 50k profit, so um, he's pretty good for a center. I bought him Wednesday morning for a snipe. Um, Tillman, I would say same thing as St. Brown. He's really cheap, uh, not like dirt cheap, but he's cheap enough where I mean I'm not gonna sell him. Aaron Donald back up to 1.2 ish. We sold both of our investments. We made about 110k profit combined. So I bought two Aaron Donalds extra. I had enough coins for it. He went up in price. I made about 100K coins. So, I mean, that's how we have so many coins is we just flip cards. We flip cards. So 50K here, 100K there, 120K here, 60K here. It obviously all adds up uh, for your cost of your cards. Um, in terms of the Ring of Honor cards, Michael Vick, JJ Watt, and... Troy Palomalu, I mean, you could sell them, but dude, like, you're just not going to really find, like, I mean, they, they literally have a baked down ability for zero AP. JJ Watt, run stuffer, hopefully it works. Michael Vick, evasive on the run. Troy Palomalu, free pick artist, that's a free baked down ability. It, it, it's not even a bucket, it's just baked on. Also, of course, the OPX factors. And we may get two tokens. Once we get that second token, these cards will go up in price because now they're more valuable. Because I can have two X factors. So I would probably choose JJ Watt and Vic. Now, hopefully, it's not going to be pay to win. It probably will be uh, like 20 bucks or whatever. But we'll see what happens, dude. Yeah, exactly, Corey. Yeah, I mean, it's just flipping for profit, bro, really. But yeah, hopefully, we literally um, get AKA reveal very soon. 
member, we get a free AKA card. I hope you guys didn't cash in your AKA yet. And if you do, I'm not really sure why you did. I mean, I would, I mean, unless you really, I mean, Kirk Cousins for a theme team, yeah. Uh, Falcons, Vikings theme team. I mean, well, Vikings, I would choose Dante Culpepper. But Falcons should be Michael Vick. So really, Kirk Cousins should have been not chosen. I mean, I would, I mean, I mean, Cameron Jordan's not that bad. He's not. Um, I think it's just, I hope it was a better one this week. It might be the last release because if they drop like not 99s, like if they drop some next week, okay, if they drop some next week, then what's going to happen is they're probably going to be 99s. Now this week, probably not, but next week I could see them being 99s. So, I mean, I think EA has to be careful. By the way, we have Truss back on Michael Vick. He just joined us. Um, did he really, Jackie? I mean, I don't really blame you, dude. I mean, he's going to be like an end game receiver. As long as you have 99 speed with, you know, Y2K chem and stuff. Um, I mean, I really don't blame you, dude. I just feel like most people should not do that. Like, the general population, I, I, I mean, I just don't recommend it. Yeah, we held on the ball way too long there. That's my fault. We had guys open. I really like Michael Vick, though, dude. He's really good. Is this cover three here? Cover beater, dude. Cover beater. Whoosh. Ooh, he had no KO. Wait, how do you have Pat Pete but no KO? Oh, he has Pat Pete, but he's not maxed out. He has mid zone. This guy's not max level. Damn. Sucks to suck, dude. If he was max level, he would have. Yeah, he would have had uh, Pat Pete deep zone KO. How about you slide, don't dive, dumbass? We got bailed out. That should have been KO'd, but he doesn't have a deep zone KO. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, nice, Jackie. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, So, Jackie brings up a good point, okay? The thing, ah, uh, we should have went with triangle there. A triangle would have been like 10 yards. Um, The thing I'm going to say, guys, is when we get a free AKA card, we're going to be able to sell, okay? Sell, I mean, if it's a linebacker, then it's a no for me. Vic, can you run, dude? Come on. We had RB for a touchdown, dude. Fuck. I'm making the wrong reads, dude. But if you have an auctionable card, you can literally sell who you have to replace it. Mike Vic being Mike Vic, baby. Let's go. Michael Vic. Baby. I mean, I think the Ring of Honor cards, if I had so many coins, first of all, I want to see if LT's already up in price. Go, Bo. Oh, also, I would use the NFL Combine X Factor, not the Ring of Honor. Because, yeah, it's nine plays, but guys, in one play, in literally one play, I get the the uh, ability the rest of the game. So now now I have angry runs the rest of the game. Now I have Truz for Vic the rest of the game. Like my my nine plays is over. Like I mean it goes really quick. So I would go with Truz Combine, not Truz Ring of Honor. If you don't know the difference, don't worry about it. Just trust me. Lawrence Tate, well, that's probably Xbox. There's no way. He's, wait, is he in packs for more than two days? Dude, I'm, genu I'm genuinely confused. Lawrence Taylor is 700K. How long is he in packs for? I'm going to read the article here. Is he still in packs?
Yeah, I don't know why Xbox is cheaper. It's showing Xbox is 200k cheaper. Because PS5, he's about 860. I don't really see him going up in price, dude. I don't. Get in, Bo. You guys see the... Oh, till the 18th? They, so, so they are in packs. Well, shit. I thought it was two days and out. Well, at that point, they're going to be way cheaper. Damn it, Vic. First of all, we kind of chewed the whole first half. Ah, I love it. I don't give a rat's ass. Chew the whole damn clock for all we freaking know. This is going to be hard to stop. This play is so. This play has so many man beater routes here. Good luck, buddy. It's a great hit by him. I'm going to take my points. Dude, how are you. How are these guys still using these Super Bowl cards? Shadavius Ward, Justin Reed. I mean, that is the NMS mentality. But, bro, those cards are actually over two months old. That's literally over 60 days old. I mean, I couldn't. I mean, I get it. Some people, they do play other video games, and really they should. I mean, have fun. But... Bro, I just don't understand, like, how you're going to beat some of the better teams that have way better speed, way better stats. Like, I mean, we do have the best team, obviously, but, like, I mean, on paper, like a top-tier team. That kind of makes it worse. Like, w when we can't, like, I mean, I know some of it is user skill, whatever, but when we literally suck and our players suck, it's literally more of an excuse because, dude, we literally had the best team. So, like, why pick it off? All right, bro, let's go. That's why you have it. Come on. Yeah. Second pick of the year for Arakbo. Wow, is that exciting football right there, man. It's moments like that where it's like, oh, I love this game. That was so bullshit, though. Off the helmet, boom. Lurk artist is tip drill. People are like, dude, you know, I don't want to use pick artist, lurk artist. I'm just going to do KOs. Bro, it's tip drill. You need it. Bailouts. That is a bailout, I will admit. Good pressure from Watt. Brian Arakbo, oh, I love it. Man, it's moments like that that make up for all the bullshit in this game. Brian Arakbo, getting it done in the Combine 25 theme team. Yeah, good job, Zay. Yeah, I mean, I use Heinz Ward, but I'm going to cut Heinz Ward because he's too expensive right now, so yeah. No, I get it, Ajax. I get it. But the only pro I'm, I mean, I'm not saying Shadavius Ward is trash. I'm just saying, like, the other... I mean, he's still okay, and he's 6'2". But keep in mind, you have to use your X factor on him. I could be wrong, but Ajax, Killa, aren't you using your X factor on him? No, I get that, Ray. I get that. But I don't think you're getting, I mean, you know, Shadavius Ward, he gets a, some really good stuff, but aren't you using your Super Bowl token on him? So, I mean, like, I mean, if you don't use your token, he only gets deep zone. Deep zone and, I mean, it does cost 1 AP, but I'm not saying he's unusable. It's just, I, I just feel like there's better options. And the options aren't even that expensive. Like Brian Branch, he's 400K rental. 
It's a good throw by him. Yeah, I get it, Flock. I mean, I plan on doing that, dude. Next year. We'll probably do like episode one, episode, episode two, episode three. Keep in mind, though, you know, people have to understand, too, like a big reason. Fumble the ball. He has no choice. Yes, let's go. Get it. Let's go. The luck is definitely in our favor today. Why would he do that, bro? See how these guys are making some dumb decisions? Why can't more players play like this? I swear to God, like, I play so many players, bro. They, they literally play great football. Like, more people than, than, than I would like. Pass lead on the run. Oh, come on, Vic. If we had running gun, that's a touchdown. I gave Michael Vic a chance there. Oh, uh, Jackie, I have neither, dude. If I, it, I would have done, oh wait, no, I have secure tackler. Yeah, I have secure tackler, dude. Yep, I have secure tackler, dude, yep. It's because, bro, you have to, to stop Bo Jackson and Dickerson, so. No secure tackler, you're screwed. Traz. If he user strips me, I'm just going to give him credit for even understanding how to user strip. So, I mean, good for you. I, I, I mean, if I lose the game because of it single-handedly, then I will be kind of pissed. But, dude, if someone user strips me, it actually took some user skill. So, at that point, whatever, bro. Karma, let's go, Vic! Pass lead on the run, fuckers. Yeah! We're back. So, like, here's what I'm saying, right? Like, if you're running the Super Bowl theme team, if you have your token on George Karlathis, I get that. You have your token on Sap, I get that. But then, who's your quarterback? Well, it can't really be Mahomes because, you, you, you know, you need your token on Mahomes. You could have an extra token, but then you paid for it, which at that point, NMS can't do that. So, it like, I get the Super Bowl theme team. I get it. But the only problem is, if you want that 70 out of 70, 70 out of 70, you know, you've got to sacrifice some things. For example, um, you know, I, I mean, like, I mean, I don't know, dude. I mean, it was really great in February, even March, but now in April, it's just like, there's got to be some holes in it, dude. Like, you, you know, you definitely, this is one thing I'll be honest with you, you definitely do not have enough secure tacklers because secure, I mean, Warren Sapp, he started that movement. Warren Sapp was one of the first cards ever in the game back, you know, early February to get free secure tackler. So after the Super Bowl promo, you know, we got more and more secure tacklers. And you need that to stop angry runs, okay? Um, you don't need it, but, I mean, bro, like, angry runs break so many tackles. And also, I do understand that it is a budget beast. And you don't want to just, you know, lose coins and whatever. But, I mean, I'm just saying from a gameplay perspective, I just feel like, it, I mean, you know, it lasts, but it can't last forever. And if it does, there's going to be holes in it. And if you lose the game, you can't be that pissed because, again, the team's not the best team. So you can't really expect, you see what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not going to say it's outdated. I'm just saying it's just not as good. I mean, like, you know, like, I feel like at some point you got to move on. Here we go with the RPOs already, bro. I mean, like, damn. Troy Palomalu is like 90% end game. If he had secure tackler or even enforcer supreme or tackle supreme, then I would 1000% say he is end game. 
Yeah, Zayvon! Wow! This team's playing great. Two wins in 15 minutes. I'm telling you guys, bro. I'm telling you. When this team plays great, I win Super Bowls. When CPU sucks, I'll be honest, sometimes I suck. There was 11 players in the football field. 11 players. I am one of them. If the other players play good, we win as a team. Thank you. What a play by Zaven Collins. 97 speed, 6-4. Great man, great zone. 1 AP mid zone. Mind you, mid zone KO, there's two advantages. Number one, knockouts. Number two, they actually play and react better. So they actually play better in those middle zones. That's why mid zone KO is essential. We have it on 1 AP for John Madden and Zaven Collins. This guy is Michael Vick. This is, you know, three games in a row, or sorry, two games in a row for Michael Vick. Like I said, guys, you are playing Michael Vick now, seven games out of 10. What up, Martez? I am K-Squad. He is, Corey. Martez, I guess, but at that point, you're getting 97, 98 speed guys, not 99. That's what I'm saying, the AP, yeah. Sertan, nice gaming. Sell it, sell it ASAP, dude. I mean, I get it, AJ. I mean, I'm not really, I'm not really here to hate, dude. I mean, I mean, I like, I mean, I get both sides, dude. Keep in mind, it also depends how many coins you have. Not everyone has the coins to do all these upgrades. So, finally, someone. I mean, I mean, dude, he has Michael Vick. But that's a that, that's a dumb throw by me, dude. Fuck. He ha he has Michael Vick, but he doesn't have Troy Palomalu. I am playing versus Troy P almost every game. That was me being dumb. That was a dumb throw by me. Whatever. It like that was a good lurk, that was a good lurk by him, and I'll give him credit for it. But that was more as a dumb throw by me. I literally had uh, axe underneath. Just take your eight yards. Whatever. Bro, I am getting sick of these freaking RPOs. Dude, D Derrison is, is glazed. He He's not even that good, dude. People are feeding it to him like he's like literally like God. Like he is not like... I would say Michael Vick is really good. Troy Palomalu is really good. J.J. Watt's really good. I don't understand Dickerson. If you don't have the token on him, which he doesn't, like, you can't have two. I mean, if you can have two tokens, maybe. But even then, like, tank is one AP on both, whatever. Like, bro, dude. All right, this guy is pissing me off. This guy is, he, this guy is a fucking bullshitter. These guys, like, I, that better not be Hayward Bay. These people have fucked up problems, bro. I'm. Does he have yak him up? These guys have like, like, like they are psychologically fucked up in their head. There is no way everyone just sits there, and b because Hayward Bay he has yak him up all game, so he has yak him up on the RPOs. Like, bro, these people, like, it's not funny. Like, you are a party pooper. No one wants to talk to you. You can literally go, you know, come to the Madden, you know, you know, you know, you know, the Madden get togethers. Hey, how you doing, Coach K? Hey, how you doing, Wheels? Hey, how you doing, Xerxes? Whatever. You know, you know, you know, everyone's at the Madden party, whatever, whatever. No one's gonna talk to you. You're not fun to be around. What the fuck did you do to contribute to the muck community? Nothing. You're a fucking duck and you're a fucking lame-o. Just run commit to the right, honestly. I mean, my Lord, Jesus Christ. Again, Dickerson's not even that good, bro. Like, it's just this, this zone alert bubble is fucking ruining the game. I have lost three out of my five losses because of this shit. You know, I am manning up the RPO. I'm trying to use the run here. It's just like, it, like, it's just, good shit, Troy P. 
Like, it is just easy. Like, we know what the play is. It's just, it's harder than you think to stop it. I mean, it's just a joke, dude. I'm going to watch the inside. Someone get out there, dude. Good shit. I'm playing. I'm going to gamble now. He's going up the middle now. Run, commit to the left. He's going left. Yes, he is. Get there, boys. Yeah. Let's go. Fourth down and goal. It's all about gambling, right? Let's go. That's how you stop the run. All you do is fucking gamble. My Lord. I mean, it, like, there's no way all these players, let's just gang up and have Dickerson feed him, feed him, feed him, feed him, feed him. Bro, that's not a fucking offense, bro. It's fucking not. I mean, in the real NFL, yes, because it's real NFL. It's real football. In a video game, bro, like, you know what you're doing. It's an exploit. Like, respectfully, go fuck yourself. Respectfully. I'm having a quarterback spy. I don't care. It's Michael Vick. Get there! Tag him! KO, baby! Knock that shit out, Branch! That's what I'm talking about. KO! Knock out! Boom! Pass the ball like a man, dick! God damn. Flat zone KO, baby. Watch that. Boom. Knock out like the wind. I mean, bro, Bo Jackson, he's falling forward three yards. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, he's still the move, dude. I'm not going to pay 600 k for that shit. Especially when you have no X factor. I'm not conservative, right? Bro, the one thing I will never understand, too, is you literally have Michael Vick, right? Like, you are literally paying so much for a quarterback. If you're going to run, okay, I actually swear to God, if I, if I had to have a face-to-face -face conversation, I would sit this kid down. I would say, what the fuck are you doing? I'm not going to handle you with all my coins. And do you want to know why? This person would never be my financial planner. And the reason why is, if you're going to sit there and run RPOs all game, at that point, have a silver quarterback. Why the hell do you have Michael Vick for over 800K coins, 700K, same thing? Like, do you see what I'm saying? Why the hell do you have Michael Vick, literally a top three expensive quarterback, if you're just going to run RPOs all game? Like, seriously. I mean, come on, bro. Use your brain. I mean, like, you know, you really throw dots, bro. You really throw fucking dots, don't you? I mean, I'm salty. I'm cocky. I'm toxic. But versus these players, absolutely. I mean, you, you know, rightfully so. Not really the best read. Go back to the comments here. Yeah, good job there, game with the pool, yeah. The two buckets. Well, yeah, I mean, ATM, secure attack was a necessity. So, like, at this point, no, you know, you know, no outsiders, inside stuff, all that's broken. I don't give a rat's ass. That, 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 stopping the run is utter bullshit in this game. Stopping the run is utter bullshit in this game. Is a like it is really a joke. Why be conservative? He has low carrying, bro. That ball, that ball can pop out. This is a big first down and the first half. <sighs> to the first half, dude. Well, dude. Gaming, it is skill, it, it, like it is scheme over team. Here's the only problem not all schemes take skill. And that's the problem in this game that no one's understanding. Good possession catch there. You're not going to KO me, buddy. 
I can't believe we knocked out that RPO bubble. Good shit, Brian Branch. Flat zone KO. If I play zone, this, this is why you do flat zone KO, not mid zone KO. Because first of all, flat zone stop those cheesy ass drags. And then number, time out. And then number two, what it does is if I'm in flat zones and he runs an RPO, oh shit, I'm in zone. The flat zone will actually react to that RPO better. Hence, that's why Brian Branch did that right there. So, I mean, I'll take Brian Branch, bro. Good shit. Flat zone KO, 0 AP, 99 speed. He has bad press, but who gives a rat's ass? This is such a big drive. Such a big drive versus this guy. I'm going to call a timeout. I, I accidentally did Chu Quak. Chu Quak should be off. By the way, I'll turn conservative off, but I mean, I do have Truz on what's it called on Vic, but I wish running backs got Truz. You know, EA made a mistake. They gave running backs Truz and Franchise two years ago. I used it on Naheem Hines, and when, when it was activated, boy, did my franchise hate me. Go, Vic. Truz, boy. Problem is, we got to move. Get in, Bo! Yeah! Bail me out! My turn! Boom! Way to fall in the end zone, kid! You know how many times, you know, my opponent, he rolled over in bed? Uh... He rolled over in bed, rolled over in the end. No, it's my turn to roll over now, bitch. Let's go. Let's win three games in a row. It's go time, baby. Time to fight back. All right, let's see this guy's offense now. Now he can't run RPOs. Guys, I mean, it is hard to believe, but trust me, Madden 24 is fun. But guys, Madden 25 is around the corner. So in two months in June, it's always early June. I mean, it, back then, Madden, I will never, ever forget this. It was literally my, my freshman year of college. Madden, Madden was out in July. It was out July 27th. Now, obviously... Okay, obviously Madden 20, Madden 20 was one of the worst, I, I gotta go off sides here, I, I, I'm in the wrong defense. Obviously Madden 20 was one of the worst mans of all time. It was the first year of abilities, it was the first year of abilities, and he's running double post. I mean, you're not gonna fool me. The one time you pass, it's, yeah, sit down. Was it double post? It was. It was. We're not stupid. Though. First of all, how the hell was that a... That was a six-yard sack. But yeah, uh, I will never forget 2019. It was May of 2019. Oh, wait, no. You know what? I don't even remember anymore. I like. I mean, I really don't. I really don't remember anymore, dude. I, I really don't. I forget what year it was, but I but I do remember Madden dropped in July. It was either 20 or 19. I mean, it wasn't 21. 21 was like early August, mid-August. But the whole point of my story was May. No, you know what? I, dude, I don't even remember. Like, pick it off. He got lucky. I could have been picked for six. Dude, I actually forget which man it was, but I will never forget there were two years where April, it was like the it was literally at the NFL draft. 
they they let you pre-order the game already for next year's game because like that's how early the drop was uh and then you know i'll never forget being in high school it was like end of may oh that's what it was it was the hall of fame edition because i could because i remember i remember um who's that wide receiver Trell owens Trell owens w- w- was on the cover of the madden 19 hall of fame edition yeah damn so i mean guys you know now it's like june like universally accepted in june but we used to get info earlier but trust me ea is already on a 25 right now i mean they're at the point now where they're on 25 now remember what what are we gonna see next year and you know and again guys this guy's gonna run the stretch all fucking drive so stay in man coverage please here we go just stop him just stop him please this guy does have the X factor, but remember, I have secure tacklers on my entire defensive line. So good luck, buddy. I mean, I'm I mean, like, this is so hard to stop for four plays on a four play first down set. I mean, like, like, I mean, this just takes no skill. I mean, honestly, just start run committing, dude. Like, there's J.J. Watt, secure tackler. I mean, you got to man up these RPOs. I'm going to gamble left now. Damn it. I gambled the wrong side. All right, we're still good, though. Third and two. This has to be a run of the inside. Run commit left, slant left. It, it has to be. Yep. Get there, though. Get there. Some, let's go. Fourth down and two. Here's the game right here, probably. Run commit to the right now. Branch, get out there, dude. Fuck. This guy honestly has a no, like he has no one. He honestly has no one. I actually feel bad for these kids because they actually think they're good. They actually think they're good. It's really, I mean, like, I mean, this is hard to watch for you guys. I would say it's harder to watch and play it. Because really, any casual has no chance versus this. No chance at all. Oh, it's going to be tonight? I, I thought it was now, Stratic. Damn. Good shit, Bo. If we don't score here, we probably lost. That is true, gaming. It did carry. Yep. Oh, God. Well, yeah, I retired. Yep. Oh, you're right, Teddy. I, I forgot about the blitzing corner. Shit. No, I mean, you're right about that. I did forget about that. Yeah. That is kind of my fault. I'm going to be on conservative, I think, because, I mean, I, re- I really don't want Bo to fumble. That's not how I want to lose. If I lose, be any be any any other way, please. Probably ATM, probably. Ruz, give me the first down, dude. Come on. Are you kidding me? Dude. That's trash. I mean, it should help me chew clock more, but come on, dude. Mm. 
we we could clock him here and he'll be pissed, but fuck him. We may win or lose this game based on that RPO. AO. Chris Harris, a, t- a keep to leave. Holy shit. I'm picking up one of them, bro. Let's go. One of them has, well, is one of them LTD? Those are great choices, bro. Let's go. The problem is, dude, they may be both man-to-man corners. No, Chris Harris is a zone corner, I think. Bro, are they both man-to-man corners? Damn it. I could use a new corner, though. I mean, that's pretty cool. Look at this dot by Vic. Let's go, dude. Good good dot. I hope, ATM. I hope. By the way, guys, I'm going to go for two. No, I'm not. No, I am. Because if I don't, he will. Whatever. Go for two. My risk. Damn it. We're good. If I lose, I lose. Whatever. If he wins 14-13, I mean, I had balls. I'm going to go down swinging. I'm just going to start run committing, dude. Oh my god, dude. This honestly is the most brain dead person I've, I've ever played in my entire life. I keep forgetting the, the, the blitz that slot corner, bro. My bad. Oh, shit. You're right. Yeah, just blitz that slot corner, dude. Dude, someone's got to be there, dude. Oh, my God. Wow. Dude, I actually think that this might be stopped now every time now. Just man it up. I mean, like, he might be screwed, actually. I mean, maybe not, but we actually may have found a way to stop this. If we just blitz those guys, user the middle. I mean, he's probably going to clock me. I'm going to lose the game. But, I mean, I'm going to now stop this more times than not now. You have to man up, play man coverage every time. If not, the RPO is broken. I'm going to pinch my D-line and stop the run up the middle. I mean, he's going to clock me and win by one, one point, I think. It's whatever, bro. I mean, these guys are so childish, dude. Run, commit. I'm going to use the RPO. Swing pass. He's going to clock me perfectly because he has 22 rushes. I mean, bro, like, you didn't really outsmart anyone, dude. He's going to win this game, bro. This is pathetic. Score! Let's go! What a dumbass. I'm going to get a field goal here. Let's go. What a dumbass. Bro, clock me. What are you doing? Fall down. What do you get, bum? If I lose, I lose. I get a field goal drive. So, if I lose, I lose now. is fair. He got so lucky, though, on fourth down and two. He got that one up the middle. Well, yeah, but ATM, he could be a slot corner for you, you know? And sell Brian Branch.
I should have fair called that. Possession catch it! Fall down! Everyone else does it! Come on! Everyone else does it! Fall down! Spike it! Spike it! Spike it! Spike it! Spike it! We got to be very careful here. I'm going to roll out and throw it away, Waste Clock. Double team Howie Long, please. Double team him. I'm going to roll out and throw it away. Waste Clock, Waste Clock, Waste Clock, Waste Clock, Waste Clock. Smart coaching. We have 13 seconds here. I don't really know what to do. I mean, I, like, I, I, mean, I really don't. If it was real life, it's way different. A video game, eh. I think I'm going to run the ball. I really don't know what to do anymore. I'm going to run the ball and then spike it real quick. That delay game has not helped me. I might do the same thing, just roll out and throw it away. Double team Howie Long, dude. It glitched. It literally glitched. It literally glitched. Like, 10 years, whatever, bro. This game is so bad. That's my bad. I, did I hit it in the red or something? I mean, probably. I Whatever. I mean, 10 years playing the game, you would think I know how to kick the fucking field goal. So, whatever. Whatever, buddy. That is the most pathetic loss ever. It, like, literally, it had to be the red. It literally had to be the red. Whatever. We won that game. We won. I may have lost, but we beat him. I'm not even going to be that pissed about it. Because literally, I beat you. So, whatever. Take your extra 1,000 coins. You really need it, right? I mean, really, all, all I care about at this point is playing good football and having fun. We had fun. I beat that guy. I won that game. We had him beat. Whatever. We, we had him beat. All that matters to me, I beat him. Because literally that 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 field goal meter, I'm not sure if it hit the red. I'm not sure what happened. But again, 10 years playing mutt, that's bullshit. So take your win. Take your fucking win. By the way, I'm going to go over those AKAs real quick. What's up, Strong Woods in the chat? Anyone else in the chat? All right, here we go. Let's go over real quick. That was a big loss, though, for the playoffs. Now we're probably going to get demoted. Whatever. Honestly, it's whatever. I mean, I'm, like, I mean, I'm not going to yell at that. I mean, obviously, I'm upset by it, but, I mean, whatever. Like, that is the most childish thing ever, bro. Like, we we won that game. That's bullshit. 
That is honestly utter bullshit. We earned it. We had some good throws, made some good dots. It's whatever, bro. I mean, if anything, I'm, I'm literally only upset because that guy is one of the worst players to lose against, and he won. He won the game. He got what he won. All right, I don't know what happened. All right. All right, whatever. All right, so let's go over these uh, AK. I don't know why that's picked. I had a slant, under through it, whatever. Let's go over these, RP these uh, players real quick. So I freaking knew it, dude. I freaking knew it. They freaking give the persistent is really good, dude. Um, that makes him out of the zone, right? I freaking knew it. Dude, I, I might pick up Jamal Adams. If he, I mean, he's run support though. I really, I really don't know if he's going to get uh deep, deep zone or whatever. Um, I mean, I really don't know if he'll get deep zone or whatever, but I mean, his stats are pretty good. And I knew they would drop a safety, but of course it's LTD. Chris Harris, he's free, obviously, if you use your stuff on him. Um, I mean, he is short. He has secure tackler, though, baked on. Wow, these baked on abilities. I mean, if he gets the Y2K chem, I hope he does. If, if they give him Y2 chem, Y2K chem, he'll have 97 agility. 99 speed, secure tackler as a corner. You could blitz him off the edge of that. That might make him automatically worth it. And it's probably zero AP because why would they have a baked on one AP? So you're really going to give him a baked on secure tackler as a corner slot. I mean, you better, you know, you better give him uh, what's it called? You better give him a flat zone KO. And then he's a like end game slot corner. Because the reason why, the reason why is because a slot corner is more for tackling. Um, also, one step ahead is not that bad for zero AP, but hopefully he gets, I mean, I, I, I'm not even going to use my X factor on him anyway, so I don't care about that. I mean, I, I, like, you give me a corner with the Y2K chem, he'll have better stats here and there, 99 XL, 99 speed, and, you know, things like that. I mean, I'm literally sold, dude. So that's a really good card in my really good card in my opinion for the abilities. Now a keep to leave, he gets it too. The only problem is he's man to man. So he'll have a better X factor, probably uh universal coverage. He has worse Excel, better press. But here's the thing. What it really what it really comes down to is who has the uh the uh the flat zone KO for me. That's really what it comes down to, if I'm being serious. Overall, though, those two cards are really good. You're there, dude. Yeah, you're right, Eduardo. Yep. I mean, dude, free secure tackler is pretty damn good. If they have Y2K chem, I'm getting them as my free one. I don't care. Secure tackler on a corner is so overpowered. That means they can tackle like almost guaranteed. That's so huge in today's game. That would literally be my fifth or sixth secure tackler on the field. They could, Chris, but it's very unlikely. You're right, Strongwoods. The only problem, though, even if they drop Quadfather, keep in mind, his X Factor is on and off. Bo Jackson is literally all game. So that is the difference, in my opinion.
Yeah, I know. All I know is, as of right now, I'm going with uh, Chris Harris. I mean, I could really, yeah, I mean, s seriously, I'm being honest. I could really see myself getting a keep to leave, even though he has worse agility or whatever. Good shit, St. Brown. Don't fumble. Even though he has worse agility, the reason why is he has better press, he's taller, he's more thick. But a keep to, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Height in the slot is not as important as you think. He has a big step here. Possession it. Let's go. Great job there by me. That's why Carmichael is too good. Uh, it's probably not, Chris. They would have said it was the last release. They would have said it, Chris. They, they would have said it on Twitter. Trust me. That is true, gaming. I mean, like, I, I mean, I'm being serious, guys. I'm, I mean, I'm probably, I am probably going to sell Brian Branch, and I am gonna get. Well, actually, I would probably keep Brian Branch because he's literally, he's he, he's literally an LTD rental, and he does have great stats. No press though. Mm. Henry, Henry already got a, a 98, dude. That card sucked so bad, though. So bad. EA scammed us. EA scammed us so hard out of, out of that card. I love Woolen. Such, such a bait. Tariq Woolen for free is one of the best cards maybe in my history. 6'4", 99 speed with combine stuff. What's up, Jacory? How you doing, dude? This is literally, you know, win or go home, so. I could be wrong, but I think it's three wins avoid demotion, so. I mean, Henry's good, dude, but he's not overpowered. He's not overpowered by any means. Like I said, I'm selling Heinz Ward. I mean, guys, don't don't overthink it, dude. A corner with secure tackler. I mean, they're probably going to go. I mean, the value. What a throw by Vic. Just got knocked out. The value is there. It, dude, it better be zero AP. It better be zero AP. I'm sure it will be. ATN, just chew clock, dude. Just chew clock, buddy. Get, you just get out of there ASAP, bro. Dead ass. All you, Bo. All you, brother. No, I know, gaming. I know. Like, I'm just saying most people will not use him for that reason. Because it's kind of sad, but really, if, if you're not overpowered, you're benched. That's really all Ultimate Team's about, bro, is. Good shit, bro. I mean, like, I might get both. I might get both a keep to leave. I mean, I may sell Brian Branch tonight. I may get both with Secure Tackler. Because it's just that important to me. My weakness is stopping the run. Let's get seven secure tacklers on the field. Ah, uh, no, Daniel, no. Troy won't. Because you still need two safeties. 
So I may get Jamal Williams myself. Jamal Adams, sorry. Because he's a 6'2 safety, 6'1, 6'2. He's like, I mean, I just love Jamal Adams' cards. dude. And he's, he's a run support. He should get secure tackler. And he has baked on persistent. Okay. Let me see right now what ability that is. I could be wrong, but I think that's persistent. With the arms crossed. This is an elimination game, bro. Should be KO'd. Whatever, buddy. I mean, I could be wrong, but isn't it persistent? Oh, they're harder to knock out. I don't even think that's that good. I don't even think persistence that good. I thought it was they not. Yeah, that's not even that good, dude. Yeah, I'm going to try to play more tonight, but. Yeah, Bo went up in price. For sure he did. This guy got bailed out. Damn, you guys have beef, bro. What the hell? Uh, go hard. It's already released on Twitter, bro. Good tackle. Good tackle. Good tackle. These guys think they're so good running that fucking thing, dude. Chris, goddamn, stop. Chris. If you don't have angry runs, you are not even close to being a great... You can be good. You're not great. It is such a bailout, dude.
All right, guys, can you hear me? I was on mute for a second. Shit. All right, my bad. Can everyone hear me? I think we're good. All right. If Adams has what ability? What's up? Go hard. You're, you're good, dude. Dude, go hard. Those players are pretty good, dude. The, uh, the AKA players. All right, guys, we got to get in the end zone here. I don't mind a field goal, but we better get at least some points. I'm going to go for a circle here, whatever. Yeah, he covered it. Ah, we got fucked over here. I mean, I know my mistake. I'm not stupid. I just, it, it, I like, whatever. That was lucky by him. I wanted to go out of bounds. I mean, I like, I, whatever. Seriously, whatever. I mean, these players just, they, they like, I'm, I'm just, like, they, 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 these losses are just so dumb. Because I'm just way better than this. I, I, I just keep losing. I keep making these mistakes. I mean, to be fair, it sounds like excuses, but man, it's just like we just know how to play football. We know our job. We know our function, and we just keep getting fucked over. Like we literally lost last game by a missed field goal. You know, you know. I mean, the kicker, whatever, bro. Like that. I mean, my God. I mean, it's just pathetic. Get out of bounds, dude. I mean, it was a dumb throw, but what the fuck? Fucking bailed out motherfuckers. Yeah, I probably will, Vinny. Appreciate your support, dude. I mean, th there's a lot of games we're going to play, if that makes sense. Uh, NCAA football, uh, Madden 25, you know, crap like that. Whatever, bro. Go beat me. Whatever, buddy. You got so fucking lucky this game. These guys think they're so fucking good, dude. I just don't understand why we keep getting demoted. Like, we literally have a great team. We're playing, honestly, pretty good football. I just feel like these players just get fucking bailed out from this fucking meta bullshit. I mean, this guy is just sitting in fucking cover two blitz all game. Which, that's not even really the meta anymore, but it's still, like, a, a spam. He's still spamming shit. Like, dude, fuck you. He's just sitting in one coverage all effing game. Which is so annoying. Now we're playing from behind. I'm telling you guys, Michael Vick's really good. I mean, if I lose the game, it's not Michael Vick's fault. I mean, he I mean he lost me one game, that's it. Michael Vick, he lost me one game one game, that's it. Everything else has just been like, you know, you know, like other factors. Yeah. I mean, Chris, yak him up is so overpowered. But Chris, you should use angry runs, bro. Like, it literally changes your whole run game. We have time in the pocket here, dude. Truss, I have Truss. Not worried about it. Not worried about fumbling. This game is winnable, dude, but we got to...
It kind of is ATM. I mean, but well, ATM do do KOs work? Do do KOs work versus it? That's my bigger question. I guess, Chris, but man, on, on the goal line, you should, Chris. On the goal line, you should, Chris. People do not respect. There it is, Chris. Chris, angry runs, it works against the pass, too. When you play the pass, bro. Look at this hot dot for a touchdown. Hines Ward, yak him up. There it is. Yak him up is the best one on, on a wide receiver. I agree. Have one wide receiver that's yak him up, break tackles. For me, it's Heinz Ward all game, but for zero AP. But you have to have angry runs. You have to have angry runs because if you don't, uh oh, is that glitched? Because if you don't, dude, angry runs, it literally is in the pass. You can, like, in the pass game, angry runs works. It's not just handoffs. That's why Ingram runs the best. I love Vic. I don't know what it is, but like I promise you I will not glaze him, but he is really good. And pass lead makes him better. It's a, a live ball, folks. All right. These players think they're so good with these fucking gun bunch RPOs, bro. It really just pisses me off. Just run commit. I'm, I mean, sir, just, just, just run. Actually, pass commit. Pass commit. Pass commit. I don't know what the point of that was, buddy. Glaze him? Well, glaze him means you, like, praise him. Like, you literally oversell him. Like, I'm not here to, like, overhype. I'm not here to overhype him, bro. I'm not. But Michael Vick is really good. This guy is just pissing me off, man. This guy is honestly a true fuck. Like, just run commit. He's chewing clock. We all know why he's doing it, too. He's going to keep running the RPO here. I ran commit there. RB, no strip. I'm still salty about last game. I literally... All these games are, like, he's going to try to clock me, bro. You're not, you're, like, you, you are not clocking, buddy. Hope you know. I'm in the flat. Get out there, buddy. Charles Tillman. KO'd. Pick. We almost put it off in the rebound there. All right. I'm running uh, flat. Pick it off, 32. All right, fourth down and nine. Just, I mean, I respect him kicking it here. Chris, I would. It is a no-brainer. Bo Jackson was 100K, Chris. Free evasive. Yeah, true, AJ. All right, here's the game right here. And then, guys, I got to go. We'll, we'll play more tonight if I'm, if, if I'm free. Oh, God, I want to.
Wide open. Great read. Let's go, Vic. Great throw. I'm going to send a score. If he clocks me, you win. I'm not going to play games. He scores. I don't know what happened there. He, he ran commit, but whatever. Good throw, Vic. Good job. If we lose, we lose. S- seriously. Like, we played a good game. Not a perfect game. But we played a good game. Give me one more stop. Game's automatically over. Cody, secure tackler for a corner is legit. You can blitz your corners off the edge and stop those stretches. So I'm getting both of them. Maybe, like, I mean, one of them guaranteed. They may be my BND choice. Because, a, like, you are not going to get secure tackler on a corner unless you're Night Train Lane, Night Train Lane, maybe Jalen Ramsey. Like, there are very few tackling corners in the NFL. And all I'm gonna say is just, dude, that's a I mean I mean that's a rarity. That's a rarity. He's gonna try to clock me, but dude, if you clock me perfectly, this game sucks. It's back to back game they lost in the last second. Yep. Big time sat there. Let's go. He didn't even get his feet down. Whatever, buddy. Dead ass, whatever. Contains on, dude. Contains on. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Whatever. That was me gambling. That's got to be a fumble or a sack. Come on. Um, I would make probably, I mean, I already went through this, bro. Like, there's really no quarterback I would want. Vic's good. There'll be other quarterbacks. Running backs, you have Bo and Dickerson, same thing. Wide receivers are just a dime a dozen. I think if I had to choose one, it would be either Julius Peppers. I really enjoy his safeties card, uh, safety cards. Um... Harold, all right, whatever. I am so sick of losing in these ways, bro. You know that this game honestly is so fucking bad. I, it is so fucking bad that I honestly just like, I don't know if he had Avalanche. I don't know what he had that's still like insanely lucky. I don't know what it is, but we actually like, like, I mean, Yusuf Majlou just really just spanked me on live TV. Because that's pretty much what these games have been. Like, we have gotten, honestly, so fucked over. Like, just so fucked over in the last, like, 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 like so fucked over. I lost last game because of a missed field goal with no time left. I lost this game single-handedly from a, from a fumble. Like, I, I'm like, bro, like, I'm just, like, done. Like, these losses aren't even merit. 
They're not even fucking merit-based. What a fucking joke. I mean, there is no get better. It's called get fucking luckier. That's literally all it fucking is. That's a fucking joke. I am pissed right now. I'm very pissed. Because there's just no reason for it. There, like, there's just no reason for it. I mean, need the ball, bro. Enjoy your win. Go to all your fucking friends, bro. Fuck this game. Like, I, like, I mean, that is literally a joke. We have got an eye. Seriously, so fucked over. RB, maybe? RB? Can't even click on a fucking player nearby. I would just need it, dude. Like, why are you, why are you even risking it? Of a fumble. Just knee it. These guys honestly crack me up. I hope he loses somehow. I hope he loses. RB. I'm pressing RB, Watt. Come on. Throw the ball, dumbass. Throw the ball. These guys are so fucking. Go the way, Woolen. What a bailout. He goes. What a bailout. Are you fucking kidding me? He goes all the way, probably six times out of ten. That is utter bullshit, dude. Fucking shit. Literally had the same completion percentage, bro. I mean, this guy ran gun bunch all game, fucking cheesy ass offense, bro. And like, honestly, like these are all 50-50 games and we have lost 70% of them because we just can't catch a break. Now I'm demoted again. I got demoted. I am literally in fucking the second lowest division. This is honestly a joke. It is literally a slap in the face. It is honestly a joke. Cody, I hate that saying. Yeah, he did, Cody. He did. I mean, that was funny, to be fair. It's, I mean, it's not really just luck, blown RO, but it pretty much is. Like, dude, come on. Like, this game is utter bullshit, bro. We got daily goals done at least, whatever, but... Why the hell are we freaking getting demoted to these lowest... We are on... Like, this this game, dude... I mean, you know, get better, my ass. It's really just get luckier. I mean, there are ways for me to be a better player, for sure. But, like, dude, why are we in veteran? Why are we in veteran? I mean, that's my question. I mean, is everyone else getting demoted? Because if not, tell me your secrets. Tell me. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Like, I have not been in Legend. I mean, I've been in Legend all year. And then the last probably 30 days since, like, you know, end of March, mid-March, we haven't done jack shit. Because every single time we're, we are losing these last minute games, and I don't know what the hell is going on. 
It's either the meta got tighter. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm pissed off. Because we are playing some good football. I mean, come on. I mean, let's see Michael Vick's stats. Because quarterback stats matter. Stats. Head to head. He has 30 touchdowns, 21 picks. That's not really that great. 66 pass completion percentage is not that bad. In the NFL, in the NFL, if you if you have a 70% completion percentage, you are in the Hall of Fame. I mean, 30 touchdowns, 30 touchdowns, the 21 interceptions. I mean, that's not bad. It's not great. Hold on. All right, guys, it's 70 degrees outside. I'm going to go play football outside myself. And I'm going to go be the eyes of a DB and get some pick sixes. Um, it's too bad that we can't live stream the football game outside. See, Matt Kennedy play real football. Hold on. Brady, you here? Yeah, I'm here. All right, I'll see you in a flash. All right, bye. Bye, bro. All right. Dude, AJ, Cody, fuck you. Dude, 30 to 21. Dude, it's not Michael Vick's fault, dude. Oh, God, real football. A meta killer? How about a dog killer, right? Damn. Michael Vick, dog killer? I mean, reform Jerry, I get it, bro. But, dude, there is no way, bro. Bro, someone call me a whiny bitch ass. Bro, come on, dude. I mean, I'm just going to laugh at that. dude. I mean, I will admit we do complain too much, but dude, it like it does not mean I'm a sore loser or, or or a bitch, bro. I mean, we do talk our shit, but bro, I mean, I mean, it's just it's all fun and games. I mean, it's not serious. Um, but I am still upset. I mean, I am upset. I am upset. I mean, like this is my number one game, and it's just I mean, people are like, see, I will always believe. I will always believe. I will always genuinely believe in life, and this is the last thing I'm out of here. They can always think they are great players, but you are not going to outsmart me. You're not going to outscheme me. You may run an overpowered scheme, but you know, like the RPO bubble. But if you call, like, I, I, I lost. I lost one game, direct evidence, direct evidence. I lost one game. From RPO bubble all game. I blitzed the corner. I manned up the RPO. I have secure tacklers. I did my job. I did my job. I missed the field goal. It glitched. Whatever. I lost. Whatever. But the point of my story is. You may have beat me. But the point of my story is. I may lose to these RPO fuckers. But I'm telling you right now bro. In God's honest truth. Okay. I will not tell those players they are a better player. And I'm not saying that matters. I'm not, oh, I'm better than you, whatever. 
But the point of the story is, bro, if you play someone who knows how to stop that, like who literally can cheese better than I can, you're not going to go far in the game, bro. You are so one-dimensional. I may lose these games, but I know I'm not one-dimensional. Those players are one-dimensional. If there's ever a two-minute offense, they lose the game. Oh, it's a tie score with only 30 seconds left. You can't call RPOs, can you? So those players, they have a ceiling. They may beat me because I don't run the meta, but when you play someone who knows how to stop stuff, you're not going to go far in the game. You're not. So that is the moral of this story is I will always teach you guys, NMS people, whatever, bro. You are going to get better by running your own scheme and making your own adjustments. I am still, my goal this summer is to make better adjustments myself. Because even, because I, I, I will be honest, I can be a way better player. I think I made a few adjustments from last year and I, I, I've played some pretty good football this year. I may not have won. I mean, I may not have won every game, but we still got better each year the last four years. That's progress. That is progress. I mean, we won 46 house rule games in a row. I won four Subals in a row in Legends, dude. And then now all of a sudden, we can't do anything in this game. All it is is, again, seven games out of 10 is Michael Vick. I would say three games out of the five, you're playing Eric Dickerson or Bo Jackson RPO Bubbles. So I'm not going to take this as a skill thing. All this is, is it's fine-tuning. It's literally, it's a buzzword. It's silver lining. It's literally just these small things of why I'm losing. If we just patch this up, we get over that hump, we're winning way more games. Because we're not getting blown out. That's what matters. I'm in these games. I lost, I want to say, seven games out of my last 10. I lost 70%. Of my last 10 games. But all those games were so tight. If just one or two things goes my way. Michael Vick. Have you guys seen my stream yesterday? Michael Vick. He missed a wide open throw. I literally lost the game. Just because of that one throw. That one throw. Lost me the entire game. That's why I'm salty about it. Because it's these one plays. It's one or two plays. That's fucking it. So, I mean, that's it, dude. I mean, well, Mr. Go Crazy, bro, we got to, I mean, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to, I mean, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because I know, I mean, I may not be a great player, but I literally understand, dude, I am not the best player. But we are losing these games so closely every time. So we are doing something wrong. It's just, I know more, like, if I had to literally give a percentage. I would literally say half of it is the game. Like the X Factors, Dickerson, the R people. Half of it is just the meta is powerful. The other half of it is myself. I make mistakes, whatever. All I'm trying to say, bro, is we are in a slump right now, and I'm not happy about it. So I am going to try to fix my gameplay. I'm going to try to make more adjustments, more audibles, more hot routes, whatever. But at the end of the day, bro, all I'm trying to say is I am getting sick and tired because that game right there was a fumble. I lost because my player fumbled the ball on a one-minute drive for a field goal to tie the game up. So at the end of the day, what it comes down to is a fumble, a missed field goal. These are bullshit. We need to pass the tape. We need to go to the fucking film room because I never once in my entire life watched Madden film. But if I have to, I will. If that's what it comes down to. Because we have April, we have May, we're done. So at the end of the day, if I have to do June, July film room, I'll do film room. Last thing I'll say, I got to go. The thing I'm going to say is you can watch film all you want. 
June, July, I can watch YouTube, I can lab, I can scheme, I can lab, I can scheme. Here's the problem, bro. And gaming, we're going to see Tariq X Factors uh, next week or tomorrow. The last thing I'm going to say, dude, is, okay, you can scheme all you want, but next year could be a brand new game. They might change a lot of things. Like, for example, X Factors. They might change abilities, KOs. They might change. So I would not lab jack shit. Only adjustments, uh, practicing your fingers, whatever. Because at the end of the day, what's going to happen is that, you know, you are going to spend 20 hours, 40 hours labbing, and then they change the game and it was all for nothing. So be careful. Because if I spend so many hours in the summer, it could be all for naught. Also, flight. I saw your comment, bro. Have a good day, bro. You too. Okay. That's what I'm saying, AJ. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm... Dude, I'm not saying I'm way better than bro. But at the end of the day, it is bullshit. Well, straight. Dude. Bro, I mean, I, dude, I'll be dead honest, bro. I'll be dead honest. I think you're just trolling. Like, if I mean, first of all, you call me a complaining bitch ass. So I'm not going to talk to a wall. If you want to, I mean, I'm not going to boot you out of my stream, bro. I think you have a chance to be a good sub and a good viewer because of your input in this game. I appreciate, you know, I, dude, I appreciate constructive criticism. But the one thing I'll say is those players, they are one dimensional. If you run RPOs the entire game and it's Eric Dickerson, that is one dimensional. He ran 25 times and you might say I suck for not stopping it. Well, guess what? If it was that easy, if it was that easy, then why is everyone doing it? If it was that easy, why is everyone running it then? It is the meta for a reason. The meta is the most popular way to go about a video game that is overpowered and it's the hardest to stop. If it was that easy, then why is it the meta? That's my question for you. Because I really have no problem with these constructive criticism responses, but they are one-dimensional. I may complain, I may bitch, whatever, but it is the truth. It is the truth. I'm not saying I'm a great player, bro, but, but when I lose to that, that is utter bullshit. It is bullshit. They may win the game, bro, but come on, man. Have some morals. Have some dignity, bro. That's utter bullshit football. Because I'm, you know, I'm blitzing my corner. I'm making, you know, I'm trying to stop that shit. Sometimes you just can't stop it. Why do you think the Eric Dickerson reputation exists? Why do you think Madden 20, Eric Dickerson, why do you, because it's bullshit. And I know I care too much about the game, bro, but at the end of the day, we should have people that care. We should have a community that actually speaks the truth. I got to go, bro. All right, because I got a friend waiting outside, bro. But yeah, I got to go, dude. So, man, I'm fired up. I'll see you guys later. Peace.